for growing moringa plant at home you need to follow upon some simple care tips and in this video we will discuss all about these moringa care tips following these points promote more growth on the plant so keep watching and don't forget to subscribe moringa plant is a summer season permanent foliage plant that is majorly grown due to the nutritional value of its leaves this plant is native to tropical to subtropical regions and grow really fast moringa plant also have such type of flowers that provides us such type of seeds to propagate moringa it's also called as drumstick plant and the miracle tree the first thing to healthily grow moringa plant at home is to know about its season moringa plant is a permanent foliage plant but its season of growth is summer and in the winters it undergoes in a dormancy condition that ends in the early springs in a temperate region this plant can be planted in early springs and it continues to grow in the whole summers the hot and slightly dry environment is very helpful for the faster growth of moringa leaves a stable moringa plant can pass winters even in extremely cold regions but you should move your moringa pot in indoors if the temperature drops up to 5 to 10 degrees it helps to pass the winters another thing to consider is your pot size as moringa plant is a tree type plant that can grow up to 40 to 50 feet very easily but for growing moringa leaves in pots you need to give them frequent space for the growth of roots it will be very helpful if you can provide it a piece of ground but for the container choose at least a 10 to 20 inches of grow bag it's link in the description box to buy for the repotting drain and spring days are the perfect choice a bigger pot provide more space to the roots and the more the roots grow better will be the growth and hence plant produces more leaves as well after the repotting some of the leaves may turn yellow but it's normal and nothing to worry of for healthily growing moringa plant at home you also have to fertilize it regularly as we are growing moringa plant in a limited space that's why regular fertilization is very important a nitrogen enriched store leaf fertilizer can work really well for that cow dung compost is the best choice you can add a dose of cow dung compost in the soil of moringa plant every 15 to 20 days within the season deficiency of nutrition in the soil can also appear in the form of yellow leaves on the plant so keep the plant fertilized but cow dung is a high dose fertilizer so it will be better if you know some important things about this fertilizer a detailed guide on that is linked in the description box another important thing to grow moringa plant at home is to prune it timely it's not compulsory to prune moringa plant but giving a nice pruning within the season can really boost the growth of moringa leaves the plant produces new shoots and side branches it's really easy to prune moringa plant just take a clean cutter and cut off the upper growing shoot of the plant you can do this every 10 to 15 days and to clean the cutter you can use hydrogen peroxide that is also linked in the description box to buy following all of these points are only going to help if your soil mix is loose and fertile in a compact and hard soil mix moringa plant never grow constantly on the other side a loose and well draining soil mix helps the plant a lot to grow roots a well draining mixture also helps in proper watering and holding nutrients of your fertilizer for the future use of the plant so using such a good mixture is obviously going to promote leaf growth so make sure your soil mix is loose and well draining you can also make it at home complete guide for making such a mixture is linked here must check it out